Yes, it is true. These recipes are so easy. You can even make them with a sprained or hurt foot or ankle. Welcome to Meals with Maria. Given that I've had a recent ankle injury, I have needed easy to make crock pot meals and these three are gonna do it for you. They are so low ingredient. They require next to no care and they are delicious. First up, we are making a Buffalo Wild Wings Garlic Parmesan Chicken Pasta. It's a lot to get out. I believe this is one of those like viral TikTok ones. So I had to try it. I had it on the list for a while. I saw the sauce at Aldi. I was like, this is gonna happen. So this is the perfect opportunity to make this because it's a very low ingredient and super easy. You wanna start by adding two pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast to the bottom of your crock pot, followed by one 12 ounce bottle of Buffalo Wild Wings parmesan garlic sauce and this is actually quite delicious so i'd never tried this before and i really liked it and then one cup of milk and i realized after you're supposed to actually take the milk and put it kind of into the sauce uh container to like empty it out i remember seeing that on tiktok and you know my mind wasn't in the right spot so i didn't remember to do that but you can do that and then a half a cup of shredded parmesan cheese and one eight ounce block of cream cheese. And now everything is in there, You're gonna be all set. We're gonna cook this on high. I did mine for two hours. I find that with chicken, my crock pot cooks super fast. You just wanna check it. The recipe says four, so we'll see low five to six. I mean, I wouldn't go more than five. Chicken cooks so fast, I swear. Then you just wanna shred your meat up with two forks or shredders, whatever you have, or a hand blender, that'd be even easier. And then cook your favorite pasta and serve that with that. And I was so impressed with this. This was so delicious and creamy and just really a really big hit in my household and I will probably make it again. Now I know I had promised meals with Maria's husband and unfortunately Dan just gets home too late from work. There just hasn't really been a way for me to kind of make that work. I've just been trying to make it work with the easy meals and uh, it's worked out great so far. So I will try and do some meals with Maria's husband at some point if I can, if maybe he gets home a little earlier from work. And don't worry, I had my foot right back up. You saw this earlier <laughs> once I got everybody served up and I was able to sit down and enjoy. Next up, we're making queso chicken, and you could actually serve this alongside rice or something, or just as a main and then a side as well. I actually decided to shred mine up and use it as a taco filling, and it was delicious. You wanna start with three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. Place those in your crock pot, and then you wanna cook that on high for, I did about two hours, because my crock pot cooks fast. The original recipe says three or low for six. Again, I would not go longer than five hours on low with these. After that time is up, you then wanna add a sprinkle of garlic powder right to your chicken. And then you're gonna top that with a salsa con queso. I just had like the Taco Bell version and I poured that right over top. Then 10 ounces of mild Rotel and four ounces of diced green chilies. Both of those you wanna be drained and you can really add them in any order. And then we're gonna cook it for another half hour on I think I did mine on low, it says high, but I think I did mine on low. So to make sure your chicken's done and everything is well warmed up. And then, like I said, I just shredded mine and served it as a taco. We did hard shells, we did soft shells, we did, you know, the sour cream, whatever you like on it. It doesn't necessarily look beautiful, but it was really tasty and it was a winner. Next up, we have a creamy chicken tortellini and I had found some tortellini on clearance at Walmart. So I was looking for a way to use it and I found this recipe and I was like, this is going to be perfect. It was absolutely delicious. So you wanna start with as much chicken as you have. You can use a pound of chicken or you can use, in my case, I'm just using up the rest of what I have, which is probably about three pounds. And you wanna cut those into larger pieces. I'm just like quartering mine. And then we're just gonna make a quick sauce with a half a cup of chicken broth. You can totally use chicken bouillon here. If you didn't have that, you just use some water and salt. That will work. Then you want uh, have about half a teaspoon of garlic powder and then one container of like store-bought Alfredo sauce. So whatever you have, you can even find that at Dollar Tree. Then you just wanna season your chicken with either salt and pepper or your favorite seasoned salt. I'm using Auntie Nono's because I feel like it just makes everything taste better. And then you want to mix together that mixture and your chicken and just pour it right over the top of that. And we're gonna cook it on high for two hours. 
at that point your chicken should be cooked through you want to add in one cup of frozen peas they can be thawed or i think mine were just frozen and that worked out fine about a half a cup of parmesan cheese and about a cup of shredded cheddar cheese i probably use more than that so use as much or as little as you have and it still turns out delicious because too much cheese is really never a bad thing and then you want to cook that for um oh you got to add your tortellini and then you want to cook that for 20 minutes until the pasta is fully cooked you want to make sure everything's submerged and it's absolutely delicious like there's a lot of flavor in it it doesn't taste like you just threw in the store-bought uh, alfredo sauce or anything like that because you're adding that extra cheese it's really creamy and really really good and you even have the juices from the chicken so the flavor is fantastic and this is such a nice easy one you just add a little bit at the end and you are ready to go and the kids loved it they devoured it ben in particular also liked it and my husband again said there was just tons of flavor here so i'm hoping nobody is hurt like i am just sometimes you need something fast you need something easy and these are those recipes make sure to check out this next video right here to get some more fast and easy recipes and i'll see you all very soon <laughs> <laughs> peekaboo